Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Friday on FIFA 21, and we're not sure what's happening today for content because we don't have any information about Team of the Year nominees. EA is leaving us in the dark. Is that promo happening today? Is it not? We really do not know. We have no pack code out right now. We have no information relating to any car designs that have been put out in this game. Literally, we don't know what is coming out today on FIFA. All we do know is... Headliners 2 is ending, right? These cards that are in packs right now go out of packs at 6 p.m. UK today on Friday. And there's literally, there's not very many SBCs that are, that are in the SBC section right now either. We got a Headliners Tavernier yesterday, which a lot of people are doing um, because this card is going to get a plus one upgrade because Rangers will win four in a row. It's an English right back and it has some pretty incredible stats. So a lot of people are doing this card and SBC fodder is dropping. I want to talk about that a little bit as well. Icon SBCs um, finished yesterday and they did not get re upped. There's no icon SBCs. That is something that I do think we could see today, depending on what the content is. But again, we've been talking about the last couple of days. I said in yesterday's video, if Team of the Year nominees are hinted at, if they do come, there is going to be a big time crash on the market and a lot of people are going to be selling cards because of what Team of the Year nominees did to the market last year. They're going to be fearing that for this year. But as of right now when I'm recording this, which it is 6 a.m. UK time right now, there is no pack code. There is nothing saying that we are getting Team of the Year nominees in packs or anything related to Team of the Year or any promo that could be coming today on Friday in this game. This whole entire last week has been such a quiet week from EA. If we if we take, a, again, a look at the SBC content this last week, we have had the Milner and the McTominay and these ta this Tavernier SBC have literally been the only content that's like seems to stick from this past week. We had an 86-plus upgrade with the Iago Aspas Player of the Month. Today, I'm expecting a Player of the Month SBC uh, to come out probably for the Premier League. That would be either Bruno Fernandez or um, Marcus Rashford or um, Mohamed Salah. One of those three, I think, should win Player of the Month. But again, right now, it's just such an interesting day. Like, why are we being left in the dark from EA Sports? EA Sports here, we need something, right? I was expecting a loading screen yesterday. I was expecting... Um, even like a, a foot watch tweet with some like pack code or anything like that. I was expecting some of that and we did not have any of that uh, yesterday or even today. Now I have traded with a few cards because since we didn't have any panic uh, selling yesterday with team of the year nominees being released, there were some good trades to be had on the market. I got this cane, tried him out for a few games and then sold him for a small profit. That was pretty fun. If you were there on stream down below in the description, the link is down there. Um, we watched a lot of things on the market. Now, one thing that did happen was there a lot of a lot of cards that were in packs, in forms, headliners, and gold cards took a big drop in price yesterday because of the supply. A lot of packs were open yesterday with marquee matchups, uh, wherever that SBC is, marquee matchups right here, and three, three new league SBCs EA dropped yesterday on Thursday with uh, the Air Divisie Super League and the Pro League all dropping. So there was tons of pack supply yesterday on the market and that dropped a lot of these headliner cards. Now, if there is no promotion today in FIFA, if there's no team of the year nominees, which technically still could happen. Uh, so I'm not ruling that out. Um, so I'm going to talk about that in like two different scenarios today. If there is no promotion today, what do I think happens with the market? Well, first of all, I want to talk about two different things in this game. I want to talk about headliners and possibly those cards rising out of packs. And I also want to talk about SBC fodder and uh, cards along those lines because a lot of players right now are buying SBC fodder, which makes sense. But I want to talk about these headliners, right? Teo Hernandez is up a little bit. He was down at 500,000 coins flat. A few of these headliners from Team 2 that are still in packs until today at 6 p.m. have rebounded a slight bit, right? This is up like 15K. Sun is up about 100K, if I'm being honest. He was 1.14 earlier. Holland's five was 520. He's up. Lozano was 550. Goretzka is still low, but a lot of these cards are very cheap for what they were earlier on in the week. So if you see any more panic selling on these headliners and we don't have any new crazy content today, I do think you will see these rebound a bit into the weekend um, because people are going to be looking for stuff to invest in. As there's games this weekend, players will continue their streaks. These are live cards. 
If they play well, of course, their prices could go up even more with informed potential. So that's one thing to keep a watch on with these headliner cards. And if you see panic selling related to like the rest of the market today, a lot of stuff on this game right now is still pretty high, right? Because there is demand. People are playing weak in league because of the extra swap tokens. You take a look at guys like Chiellini, 200,000 coins to this card. He was 180 two days ago. Hazard is up, right? So a lot of these out of packs cards are up once again because people want those extra weekend league player picks. And we're gonna be continuing to talk about it throughout this weekend, especially tomorrow and Sunday is the, the panic sell and the sell-off. The weekend league sell-off this weekend is gonna be massive. So if there's any cards that you need to get out of your club, take this opportunity where the market is still high to do that because a lot of stuff I think still has to drop as we head towards next week or a week and a half from now and the actual team of the year promotion coming out. So take this opportunity of less content and less stuff to do on FIFA to maybe have a chance to catch, to cash out on some of those cards that are still high right now in value. Now let's take a look at SBC fodder for a second because since we had both of those icon SBCs go away, the base icon repeatable and the base mid pack that were in the game, since they have not been re-released, we are seeing SBC fodder drop. And I wanna talk about that a little bit because people are starting to buy in this stuff. Let's take a look at John and Sancho, right? The last, what was it? January 29th, this Wednesday, the 30th of December, December 30th, John and Sancho was 30,000 coins. On that Wednesday, we had the base icon that came out and uh, I think that was the repeatable one, right? The base icon repeatable came out. And then of course, last Wednesday, the um, last Wednesday, the base mid came out for a one-time SBC. And so in the past two weeks, SBC fodder has been very, very inflated. Now today it has dropped off big time across the entire market. Um, a lot of SBC fodder has dropped off. 84s were like 8, 9K. Now they're down to 6 to 7K. 85s were 15, 16. They're now 12, 13. 86 rated players where some of them are like 27K. Now they're down to 22. You know, 87. Like we take a look at some of these other cars. Robertson's 30,000 coins right now. Where was this guy at earlier this week? The guy was 40,000 coins last week on Wednesday when that new icon SBC dropped. So um, one thing I'm... One thing you could probably look forward to seeing today is I think they're going to re-up some sort of icon SBC. If we're not getting a promo today in FIFA, then I think we are going to get some sort of SBC content that would make people not go wild, but it would be some sort of content that EA could put out to maybe, I guess, quote unquote, hold us over. So that's going to be one thing I do think you'll see today, as well as a player of the month. That's going to be some SBC fodder demand for this game. But a lot of people right now are going out and buying those cards. And, you know, to me, it makes sense, right? We've had such a slow week on FIFA. And again, it's not like EA. You would think that EA would be dropping content and more content because they want to try to take coins off of this game before team of the year actually comes out. And then of course, try to make people spend more money on FIFA points. But this last week has been so quiet. It's just a little bit confusing, right? Two weeks ago, a lot of coins suck from EA, right? This week, not as much. So we'll see what happens with player of the month today. We'll see what happens with um, possibly icon SBCs returning. I think that they will. And then of course, if team of the year nominees do come or if there's any sort of hint or leak or anything else going along with that, then we'll have some more information along with that as well. But that is scenario number one, right? There's no content that comes today. The market probably gets a little bit of panic selling in the morning. Whatever content there is around 6 p.m. UK, you might see a little bit of um, panic selling into that time frame, And maybe right after 6 p.m. UK, if there is big time content like an Icon SBC, you might see some selling and then a bit of a rebound as people go and play foot champs. Um, but that is if there is no content. Now, if team of the year nominees do come out today, then I do think you're going to see a lot of panic selling in the morning. And then most likely, depending on what happens with the pack luck for the nominees, if they do come out more panic selling after 6 p.m. as well. But again, keep your eyes posted to Twitter. Of course, I might be asleep if there is going to be something tweeted out, but I will do my best to retweet something and put my thoughts with it if there is some code that is announced in the game. Because Team of the Year nominees um, coming out today would be massive, right? Today on Friday, if it does come out, again, those cards were so packable last year that people are going to remember that. They're going to remember how other special cards in the game tanked so much because those other, the new Team of the Year nominee cards were so packable and um, how they had dynamic images. So people were even selling the gold items 
to go buy those team of the year nominees. So I would be care I would be scared for the entire market tomorrow if that promotion does come and if those cards are in packs. So just be aware of that and know that's kind of our risk right now. The biggest risk on this game is is if you're holding cards in your team that that promo could come out and you see a lot of cards on this market drop. Even a guy like Rule Breaker Harry Kane, who I was able to pick a deal up on today, this could be a card that would probably get panic sold and would drop a decent amount in price. Even if he has a team of your nominee card that is very different price from this, like just the fact that panic selling could happen on almost any card in this game. It's just those, those nominee cards. People remember how high of a pack weight they had and how they just crashed the entire market because people sold gold items to play with nominees last year and they sold informs to play with nominees because the, the stats were almost the same and the nominees were so much cheaper because they had that crazy, crazy high pack weight. So just some things to think about today. It's really a lot of question marks today, man. It's not like there's a season ending because usually when you have a season ending at the top right here, um, that's a day where EA sometimes doesn't have um, promo content for us. But today is just a random Friday, man. And usually we're in team of the year right now. So it's just very confusing conf confusing to know what's going to come out today. Of course, we still have a lot of SBCs that are out right now. You could be crafting the 80 plus player picks. A lot of people are going to be starting to try to go uh, unassigned on Premier League rares, Bundesliga rares, and rare golds in general this weekend because of team of the year coming soon. So if that's you, get a head start maybe um, this weekend on doing that as well before more and more people start to do that. Because honestly, it's looking like today on Friday, we are going to be one week away from team of the year. It's like the one week warning. And as I mentioned again, there's going to be a lot of panic selling coming out of this weekend league. So take an opportunity if you want to, if right now, if you're saying, yo, I have a lot of cards in, in my club or in my team that, um, you know, I can maybe play with the gold items of and still fare okay in the weekend league. Or expect, like if you get those cards out of your club by Saturday morning, I feel like you're going to be good to go before a lot of people start selling and selling and selling as this weekend comes to a close and as we turn into team of the year week on FIFA 21. So that's kind of the video for today, boys. I wish I had more information. I wish I knew that there was something cool coming today, boys. But honestly, a lot of big question marks today. Not sure what's happening with Team of the Year nominees, if it's happening, if it's not happening. We'll see what happens, of course, at 6 p.m. on the live stream. Link is down below in the description for the Twitch live stream. I will be live there at 6 p.m. today on Friday. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.